Hi, this is Jody. I, I would like to hang out here a little bit and um, talk about a blog that I just posted today. I just published in Kajabi and I haven't really released it out in the world like so much. I, I posted it, a link to it on Facebook today. All right, the blog that I put that I published today is titled Self-Care is Important for Housekeepers. This is something that's that is one of the main reasons that I started Pristine in the first place um, is because I had multiple injuries to my body um, due to overworking for the most part. Um, pushing myself too hard to do more jobs, more jobs, more jobs, quicker, faster. And I would I would work during the night and during the day. And I just worked around the clock for multiple years, far too much. And ended up with carpal tunnel syndrome in both of my wrists, as well as a thoracic outlet syndrome in one shoulder and a shoulder impingement on the other shoulder. And... Um, I do have genetic, uh, my, in my genes is the possibility of osteoarthritis, but I developed it far earlier in life than most people because I pushed myself too hard for too long. And so that was one of the things that I wanted to, um, to start talking about with housekeepers is how to properly take care of yourself and um, which is part of self-care, so that you don't run yourself down, beat yourself ragged, trying to make a living. Or if you're doing that in your own home, that's that's too much too. Um, just injuries that can that are common amongst housekeepers and people in the cleaning industry, as well as someone who cleans up for a really large family or you know, a really large property or whatever. Um, so I'm going to pull this up. I'm just going to read it. Pristine's self-care suggestions to help prioritize your well-being. Self-care is an essential practice. It allows us to address stress, unhappiness, illness, and other negative emotions holistically. It is not indulgent. It is the necessary mindset, activities, practices, and habits that help us find relief when we feel overwhelmed. By prioritizing self-care, we can prevent burnout, reduce the adverse effects of stress, and realign with what truly matters. Let's explore a range of self-care suggestions that you can personalize and incorporate into your daily routine. Remember, taking care of yourself is not selfish, but a vital step towards leading a fulfilling and balanced life. All right, so that's um, the first paragraph of the blog that I published today. And if you were to go into the blog, it is pristine.team slash blog. Now I'm, I'm going to just kind of go through a list. It uh, says, use the following list as a guide to help you come up with your own flair of self-care. Some of these ideas are simple mindset change, and sometimes that's exactly what we need. Some require you to get up and go. Others insist you be still. Find what works for you, then try to fit something into your schedule daily that's just for you. Love yourself well because you are worth it. All right, so here's a few of those things. We're just going to... I'm just going to read some off here. Take should out of your vocabulary. Stop thinking you should be doing things. Let go of the pressure to constantly meet self-imposed expectations and embrace the freedom to make choices based on what is right for you. Another idea of self-care is take a nap without an alarm clock. We don't always get the chance to do that, but sometimes I... I, I do that, and I often wake up with a feeling of regret, actually. <laughs> I'm, so I'm, I'm not good with, um, yet with allowing myself 
to just have that nap and not feel guilty for it, but you shouldn't feel guilty for it. Take a nap without an alarm clock. Develop new neural pathways and keep your brain healthy by mixing up your routine in small ways, just, just little ways here and there. Kind of do things out of order on purpose. Go out and spend 10 minutes under the sun. If you don't get to be out in the sun much, that sounds great. Go for a bike ride to nowhere in particular. That's not my favorite idea. I'm not a big bike riding kind of girl. I should pick up bike riding someday, but it's a bit rough. Go hiking. Ooh, I like hiking. Camping or backpacking and spend some time in nature. A uh, nice long walk through the woods to just listen to nature. That can do your heart some good. So quilt or crochet something, color or draw, just engage your hands. Get your hands busy doing something that you can focus your attention on. Maybe while you're doing that, you can turn on a podcast or an audio book. Rearrange your furniture in a way that makes you more comfortable. When your home looks new, you receive constant new stimulus until your mind is completely settled with the new look. So that sounds intriguing. I think I do that more than most people. I rearrange furniture all the time. Write a limerick or a haiku. Intentionally schedule me time on your calendar or planner and don't feel bad about it. At least once a month, you need to do something that's about you, for you, maybe just with you, um, me time. Get some inspiration by reading stories of people who overcame adversity. Stop being your harshest critic. This one's rough for me. Allow yourself to make mistakes. No one is perfect. Realize, realize this means you too. Tell your pet all of your darkest secrets. <laughs> I'm a little weirded out by that one, but that will work for somebody who loves their pet immensely. We have a pet, and I don't hate her, but I'm not a pet lover as much as some people. Tell your pet all of your darkest secrets. Your pet's nonchalance will remind you that you're going to be okay. Unfollow or mute toxic friends in your social media feeds. I've been doing some of that lately. It is uh, relieving. Catch up on your favorite blog. That'd be www.pristine.team slash blog. Listen to a podcast about a topic that interests you, but you have not yet to explore. So that, that would be fun. Find something that, that you're interested in, at least slightly. Something that you've always wondered about. Find a blog. Or I mean, not a blog, a podcast and listen to it. Use online tutorial, tut uh, blah, 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 tutorials to learn something new, such as Photoshop or Excel or Canva. That's what I've been trying to learn recently. I haven't spent as much time at it as I thought I would be able to, but I'm getting there. Do something spontaneous. I'm going to spontaneously see who's texting me. Oh, no one. Clean up just one small corner of a room in your own house. A tidy space can help calm our minds. So that's something that, um, that I work on doing. Um, thing is, the space never gets to be my bedroom enough. And so recently I became like super, just super overwhelmed with um, a messy bedroom because everything in the house kept landing in the bedroom um, in my space. And uh, I guess because that was where it fit the best and wasn't in the way of whenever company comes in because um, my bedroom's the furthest from the front door. So that's why I kept bringing stuff there. But then I have even told my kids just if you don't know where it goes just take it to my bedroom which um and and then it happened Ooh. 
and it became overwhelming. And then my son and I have been sleeping on the couches for nearly a week because I tried to totally rearrange the bedroom and haven't yet uncovered the bed since. <laughs> That's such a horrible thing to have to confess to, but that is that is currently my situation. So a tidy space can help calm our minds. Oh man, it can. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Rewatch your favorite movie from a decade ago, or maybe two movies while eating your favorite snack, guilt free. Attack on that guilt free. You do these things and do not feel guilty. If you're feeling overwhelmed, create a plan by listing out your three most important tasks and tackling them first. Good idea. I need to take that. I need to take all this stuff into my head deeply. Actually do these things myself. Unplug from email and social media for an hour. An hour can feel like a long time whenever you're working on something. If you're feeling overwhelmed with too much social interaction, go home. Don't be afraid to cancel plans or say no. I had to cancel plans last night to go to a ball game. Sorry, Alicia. I'm sorry, Eden. I do love you, I swear. If you play an instrument, try learning a song from a genre or artist you don't usually listen to. That's not me. I don't play an instrument. I sure wish I did. That would be so cool. Visit the library or a bookstore. Browse or read at your leisure. Call up a long-winded friend and let them talk it out. Oh, that sounds not relaxing. That's, that's them care more than self-care in my mind. Maybe not for you. Maybe not for you. Maybe that's just your thing. Call up a long-winded friend and let them talk it out. Write a review of a business you like. Spread some goodwill and positivity. Paint your fingernails and toenails. Work on a jigsaw puzzle. Listen to an audiobook. Make a spot. Oh, you know what? Back to the audiobook. I am going to commit to listening to a fictional audiobook once a month for a little while because I need to, to let my mind be a little more imaginative every once in a while. I've been taking life too serious. So listen to a fictional audiobook occasionally. Make a Spotify playlist based on your current mood, which I, I feel like a little bit of all kinds of music from all over the world, but just kind of a, the type that would play well in a coffee shop. That's what I feel like, if that makes any sense. Start a journal to record your thoughts and experiences. <clears throat> Google funny memes and collect the good ones into a folder on your computer so you can share them later. That is something I have done recently. Um, and, uh, and then I forgot that I did it, and so I haven't been sharing them. But I did put them all into a, a folder. A lot of funny memes that were cleaning related. Take a long, slow walk in a calm place or in a not-so-calm place with earbuds playing something that makes you feel at peace anyways. Scrapbook old pictures and keepsakes. That's one of my favorite, most relaxing things to do for me. That, that works for me. Go metal detecting and maybe unearth a treasure. Now, that's something that I want to do all the time and uh, should do with some of my me time. Go get a massage. Woo! You do, in fact, deserve it. Oh, man, I need a massage. I don't ever pay that much money for me. That's something I should do. Man, I'm going to commit to doing that soon, too. Hmm. All right. Well, those are my ideas. If you uh, are watching this later, I'm not sure if you can comment on it, but I think you can. And if you can leave comments, tell me what you would do or do um, with your free time. Not free time, but your self-care. 
how do you self care? You need to be caring for yourself. You need to take care of you. Just like on an airplane, you take, you put your own gas mask, or not gas mask, but oxygen mask on, and then you help your neighbors. You have to take care of you so that you can take care of others. And since taking care of others is what you do for a living, or what you do because that's who you are, that's the that's your role in the family and then the household, then you definitely need to also take good care of yourself. Love thyself. Now, and God said to love your neighbor as yourself. How can you love your neighbor if you don't love yourself first? That's the question. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Have a really good night.